Former Liverpool midfielder Xabi Alonso has emerged as one of the favorites to replace Jurgen Klopp at Anfield, and the appointment could have repercussions for Manchester United. Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag could end up being targeted by Bayer Leverkusen if the Bundesliga leaders lose manager Xabi Alonso to Liverpool. Alonso, 42, has been touted as a replacement for Jurgen Klopp when the German ends his nine-year spell at Anfield at the end of the season. Spain international Alonso spent several years on Liverpool's books as a player, winning the Champions League in 2005 and reaching the final of the same competition two years later. As revealed by Mirror Football, Ten Hag's long-term future as United boss could hinge on how much money he is given to spend in the summer. United made no new additions in January, with Ten Hag indicating financial fair play concerns prevented him from bringing in the new striker he wanted. 10. Hag has never managed in the Bundesliga before, but he developed an affinity for the league during his time in charge of Bayern Munich's second string. The manager was born in the east of the Netherlands, near the border with Germany, and still owns a house near the border. It's not a secret that I wanted a striker extra, Ten Hag said in his pre-match press conference ahead of Sunday's home meeting with West Ham, because with the injury of Anthony Marshall, we don't really have backup there, but it was not possible because we have to match the financial fair play rules. We have Omari, Forson. We have Ahmad Diallo, of course. We have Rashford, who can play there. I think for the rest, all the positions are occupied. But yeah, we have to be a little bit creative if it's up to the number nine position. United are the lowest scorers in the top half of the Premier League, despite putting four past Wolves in their last game. Ten Hag has overseen the arrival of big-money signings across two summer windows, but the coming summer could prove just as significant. Alonso doesn't appear to have let the Liverpool talk distract him from the task at hand. Leverkusen claimed a 2-0 victory at Darmstadt to remain two points clear of their closest title challengers, Bayern Munich, ahead of their meeting next Saturday, with Nathan Tella scoring both goals. Bayern is always Bayern, so to beat them, you have to beat them not once, but twice or three times, Alonso said. But before that, we have the Pokal game against Stuttgart on Tuesday. That is a big one for us. We want to keep going. Let's see how far, but we don't want to stop. Bayern were given a fright in their own Saturday fixture at home to Borussia Mönchengladbach, but eventually claimed all three points. Nico Elvedi put Gladbach in front only for Alexander Pavlovich to equalize just before halftime with second-half goals from Harry Kane and Matij Delight giving Bayern victory. Thanks you for watching this video, and please like and subscribe my channel for next video.